we have a 2002 CBR 600 here, F4i model. And we have a broken off wire for the fuel pump or fuel pump relay, something. Fuel pump doesn't turn on unless this is connected. So I went ahead and popped out the pin. It's pretty easy to do. Just take this little guy out, which is easy enough. You just take a screwdriver and work it in these little holes right there and pry it up. And then you take a little tiny screwdriver and go in here and push up on it and it'll pop out the back. It takes a little finagling, but one I have here is snapped off right there. So we're gonna attempt to solder a new uh, jumper wire on. I can't show you me doing it on the bike, but I can give you an example of the soldering that's about to happen. So we take our wire here, grab some flux, and put it on there. See how it's all shiny now? It's flux. Do the same for the other one. I already did this one. Yeah, see it goops up on there. That's good. So now, how do I record this? Uh, touch it to the bottom of the thing, and that'll tin it. As you can see now, there is solder all over the wire. And now when you go to solder these two together, you still add a little bit of solder, but it's much easier. So I just did these two. I didn't even do anything. I just took the gun or the thing and then held it underneath them. And it puts the two together. Now I've got that little extender on. We just got to throw on a piece of heat sleeving. All right, got that on. Hit it with a heat gun for a couple seconds. Get that all sleeved up nice. All right, there's a little addition added. I can't get the uh, little rubber gasket thing back in there, so I just made sure that the uh, this was in there enough for it to be fine. I don't plan on going swimming with the bike, so it should be good. All right, let's get the ECU plugged back in. Let's put the battery in and see if the fuel pump primes. Oh, we got fuel. So the fix worked. Now if it, the battery is actually charged, it would start, but... New battery is on its way. 